Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voilot and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. And thank you especially to the patrons who help make this possible every single day with their support at patreon.com slash SW7x7. So we're going to talk about Empire Magazine's June 2024 issue. They dropped a big old cover story about the Acolyte and that's fantastic and we'll be talking about that in the coming days. But for today, I'm going to talk about the interview that they did with Daisy Ridley because she is in the middle of you know promoting other movies and whatnot and of course you know what happens when somebody who's been in Star Wars is getting asked about other movies that they're promoting they get asked about Star Wars too and I won't bury the lead here there is something specific to the new Jedi Order movie that comes up in the interview the interviewer asks Daisy Ridley what her hopes are for Rey in the new film and she doesn't quite answer that question directly in terms of like oh I hope she'll be more proficient in the force or I hope her leadership skills will develop or anything like that it's not a criticism or anything that's just you know pointing out that she's asked the question and she kind of chooses to answer it in a different way and it bears on <laughs> stuff for the movie's planning and progress. She says, honestly, I have no idea in regard to the hopes for Ray. I know the story beats, but other than that, I'm not sure what it's going to be. But I'm reading a script next month. I'm curious about it all, she says. So when she says next month, what does she mean? Well, thankfully, we have a little bit of additional information that helps us narrow it down a bit. This interview took place while she was filming a movie called We Bury the Dead, and that movie filmed from February 19th until March 26th. So somewhere in that time period is when this interview took place, which means that the, quote, next month, unquote, is either March or April. So if she hasn't read the script already, then she will be reading it sometime in the next week or two, basically. And from a timetable perspective, even if that's just a first complete draft of the script and it still needs revisions and work and whatnot, they're still on a terrific timetable for being able to hit a December of 2026 release date. And even though she doesn't necessarily directly talk about her hopes for the character, she does talk about her own experience and how it may come into play when she gets back into the role. She's asked about you know, how the whole thing came about, and um, she says, it wasn't a difficult decision. I didn't say yes right away. Kathy Kennedy uh, was like, take as long as you need. And she says it was actually pretty funny on the way to the meeting. Uh, she was on the phone with a best friend and he said, oh my God, Days, imagine if they're doing a Ray TV show. And Daisy Ridley says she was like, now nah, we're literally just going for breakfast. And then Daisy Ridley called him afterward and was like, you'll never guess what. And then she goes on to say, like, why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't I say yes? Um, they've been divisive, but they also bring a lot of love and joy to a lot of people. And she says, it feels pretty amazing to be able to continue a character. Like, can I even remember how to play her? It's an interesting challenge as an actor to come back to something and try to figure out what's changed for me and what's changed for her. And expanding on the joy idea a little later, she says, there's just a lot of joy with me in these films. Honestly, if I wasn't excited, I wouldn't have done it. It feels like a great thing to be part of. I guess I do wish a little bit upon reading that. And I wish she hadn't said that, yes, they've been divisive. I wish she hadn't used the word divisive in there because have they really been divisive? Or is it just, you know, a small subsection of people who made so much noise about it that then media ran with a narrative about it being divisive? Like, I don't know if that's really the case. And I think you can critique the movies and you can raise questions about how they were executed and the jump from JJ to Ryan to JJ again and what they did in the interplay with those movies. I think you can have honest, critical opinions about those things without suddenly dragging this into the mire of divisiveness. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. There's one other thing I thought would be interesting to share. She's asked, um, speaking from an outsider's perspective, uh, when an actor's career takes off from a franchise, it seems difficult for them to extricate themselves from that property and establish themselves as an individual with their own artistic identity. Is that something you're cognizant of? And Ridley says, Star Wars will always be the first thing that is connected to me in my career. It's something I'm aware of, but it's also not something I feel is a difficulty. She goes on to say, I feel very privileged to have done that role and obviously will continue to. In the business way of things, I'm then lucky to have been able to go and do other stuff because of those films. So I don't take any of that for granted. I want to be a working actor. That's my thing and I'm doing it and it's pretty expletive great. 
And, you know, just as a side note, if you're not familiar with the fact that, you know, we sort of draw a line for the clean version of the podcast here on Star Wars, it's basically that if they don't say it in Star Wars, then we don't say it here. You know, it seems like it makes sense to do it that way. But that's what I've got for you on the Daisy Ridley portion of Empire's June 2024 issue and the fact that sometime by the end of this month, she will have read a script of this new Jedi Order movie, which is pretty exciting to know that it is moving forward in that regard. And that's what I've got for you on this episode of the podcast. If you have not done so yet, it would be really helpful. I would really appreciate it if you leave a rating or review on your app of choice. If you consider hitting a like or a follow or a subscribe or a join button to make sure that you get notified when we drop new episodes, which is every single day. And you could even just tell your friends, tell other Star Wars fans that you know that this Daily Dose of Star Wars Joy exists for them. And you can even help get it out to the world. We have been downloaded in more than 160 countries, which is insane over the course of the nearly 10 years of the podcast and on all seven continents too, for that matter. And you can help make that possible every single day with you know, barely, barely a drop in the bucket at patreon.com slash SW7X7. And it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this this episode, as always, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Four seven by seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and/or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited. Other respective trademark and copyright holders, may the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars Seven by Seven. We hope you love it.